After finishing a talk to a group of 10th graders in a reputed school in Mumbai, the principal was walking me around the school. As we came to their science laboratory, I saw a pendulum in full momentum swinging from one end to the other, and I was convinced that eventually it would come to a standstill right in the center without being on either of the extremes. I thought to myself, so much in our life depends on being centered and not tending towards extreme polarities. Over the years, I've met people who have achieved huge success in what they do, but they credit their success to their enterprising nature, to their efforts and to their endeavors. They believe that it's their hustling alone that has brought them to where they are today. In fact, you can sometimes smell a sense of arrogance in their attitude and tone. After all, in this unfair world, they've carved a place for themselves. The self-made ones, one extreme of the pendulum of success. And then I've also met those who credit what they have in life to the right people, to the right timing, to the right surroundings, to the golden opportunities that came their way. Maybe to karma, luck or destiny, and some even to higher powers or God. These individuals are honest in acknowledging that there are people and forces beyond themselves responsible for their success. Most often, they come across as modest, but they believe that their own effort had no role in their success. These are the blessed ones. Another extreme of the pendulum of success. Finding success in what we do is such an incredible balance. As human beings, we have a free will, we have independence, we have the ability to choose. And indeed, it is the proper use of that free will in directing our resources, energy and power in the right place that can bring us success. And that success, that achievement gives us self-confidence, belief in our unlimited potential. But then we cannot deny the fact that our independent efforts reach a limit, a plateau, and unless help comes from outside, it's hard or even impossible to move to the next level. It is at that time we start realizing our insignificance. We start realizing our dependence on elements outside of ourselves. Self-confidence in our potential now transforms into humility by calling out for assistance or help. And those who have always believed that they are dependent need to balance their modesty with self-esteem. After all, the car may be given to you. The road map can also be given to you. But unless you drive the car, you don't reach your destination. So isn't it important that we also feel worthy and good about ourselves by knowing that we have an important part to play in this journey of success as well. Ladies and gentlemen, as I walked out of the school, I was enriched by what the pendulum taught me. Success is a balance between my independent efforts and my dependence on other people and forces. It is a combination of belief in my infinite worth and also experiencing utter insignificance in knowing that I have limitations that can only be offset with the kind help of others. It is this balanced approach that makes success real and satisfying.